Yo, what's going on guys? It's Harrison here. Today I'm joined by Michelle. And we are giving you guys the first episode of the Kaza Cast for the year. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so for those who don't know us, uh, I'm Harrison. I'm kind of just like the master's rep. I kind of exist in the building. I do things. And yeah, I'm doing my final year right now. And I'm going to introduce myself. I am the vice president of CASA for the year. I am a, a master's student and doing my thesis, just my thesis. And I'm also working in networking for CASA as well. Yeah. And sponsorship. So. so if you would like your, if you'd like to be on this segment or you'd like a little like banner, like maybe down like here. You're promising a lot. I'm gonna have to put this in the sponsorship form. Banner. No, it's, okay. It's, it's okay. I can remove that later when I edit it. Anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just. Trying. Yeah. We can so do that. I guess like the main things we want to talk about is like what's going on campus. Like it's week one already. I've fallen asleep in class at least once. So maybe I'll go up on that little wall back there in the sleeping corner. We should have like a tally and prizes if anyone catches you. Yeah. Uh, prizes? Ah, uh, no. I don't want to be like a where's Wally, where's Harry. I don't want to deal with that. You'll have like an entourage, you'll have fans just follow you around. Oh, uh, no, I don't Like want, the Beatles. I don't want stalkers. Anyway, um, so yeah, I guess like we'll talk about like what's going on, on campus, like giving some advice to the first years, because a lot of you like probably met us yesterday during the first year studio, but some of those who couldn't make it or those who just want to like be able to like listen back to some advice, like this is a good way to like do so. And we'll also just talk about like, I guess how our first couple of days have been. Already it feels super intense with thesis. Yeah, yeah, it's very vibrant on campus at the minute. There's um, people everywhere. Everyone. The elevators take forever. Bro, but, like, <laughs> I got there like a Monday, I think. I got there at like 9 a.m. with a friend. And man, parking was already so full. Uh, on the, yes. I know it's day one. Like, I, we should have expected that, but goddamn, it was so busy. The key is 7 a.m. 7 a.m. I'm 7 even a.m. Come in, Bro, seven, get the parking like, spot like this now. Oh. right up yeah, close, I can't do that. Um, and yeah. just have a coffee and just have that kind of shh yeah. before you're like, yeah, this coffee, assignment, this assignment, this assignment, this assignment. Before all that noise happens, just hmm. that calm. That's my advice. But I have two children, so I'm up at 6.30 regardless. Ah, true, you have an alarm clock. <laughs> so yeah. that is how it is. But anyway, uh, I guess like some quick tips, like, this is for first years, but also for everyone. Um, did you know there are lockers in this building? There I have known lockers. this, and I still have not organized one because I am lazy and forgetful. But um, if you, what's the website people can go to to book a locker? Uh, I don't actually know, but sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> it's what? SISO. SISO. Yes, SISO. So I'm what being we'll do is we'll put it up here. Can you do that? Just put a little... Yeah, I can put, we'll like, put a little the thing, website thing. up here. Yeah, so, like, I'm being pointed out, like, if you see any smart of the... Smart Hub. Yeah, Smart Hub. So, you see any of those posters around the building, you have able to scan a QR code to organize your locker. So, I'll try and, like, add that to the podcast. Like, either it'll be here, it might be here. We'll find out. I'm getting pointed out so many. There's a lot in the DVD Everyone's space. Like, Here's all the info. You haven't seen it. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm horrible at reading. But. If it doesn't work, because it hasn't for me, and now I just don't even do it, I shouldn't be saying that. But if it doesn't, you can go down, just past the printers and see Kyle in the office there and he'll just, yeah, so he does it in a couple of hours. Yeah, so a lot of the staff are really helpful, especially in the Makerspace and the Collaborate Hub as you're talking about. So the Collaborate Hub, when you come in through the, I guess the main entrance would be like on the side of all the restaurants. That's where a lot of people come come through, I'd imagine, yeah. to the building. So when you walk in there, if you take a left, you'll be you're walking to the Collaborate Hub. So this is where all the printers are, where a lot of staff are, there's a little kitchen there as well. So like if you need many issue, if you have any issues, that's like a good way to like go for help because I guarantee you, if you're a first year, you're gonna try printing something, it's gonna go wrong. You'll try again, you'll start crying when it doesn't. But um, there's a lot of friendly staff there to help you out or alternatively, you can come up to where we are on the level four student space and seek our help from there. Yeah, we're yeah. usually here. Yep, we have no life outside of this degree. Apparently, not at seven in the morning, though, <laughs> for some of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's good. And that also goes with the tip, like, you know, get to know the staff and the teachers. Like, some you'll gel with and some you won't, and that's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah. That might change. But um, if you've got, like, one or two that you can kind of go to, they'll help sort your problems out as well, especially if it's something that we 
will need to see them about anyway if you've mm. got that connection it kind of cuts out that the middle person not that we're not happy to help we always are um but even going forward it's good to have a good rapport mm. and just a mentor that is yeah. that that knows what you're capable of because that helps when you present to them as well because they know they know what you can do yeah they sort of understand like what your presentation style is and how you go about presenting and they can help like cue cue in on certain things to get you talking like, i think like it's a really good thing to like talk to your tutors talk about your ideas so you can get that like feedback outside of class as well as doing that with other students because when you start presenting you're probably going to like panic because i remember the first time i did that on the blue carpet into a one i was very scared but the more you do it and the more you just talk to other students the more you'll learn to present as well as the more you'll be able to improve upon your ideas but yeah so definitely like talk to your tutors talk to like different students just get to know everyone because it's a pretty pretty intense degree and it's a lot easier when you have support a, yeah support from people and just someone yeah. you can talk to even if it's just even if it's us yes um but yeah like a lot of a lot of lecturers now i did my undergrad online so i haven't had the, the whole five years here mm. um you sort of sped run it but i, yeah, I came into masters i'm like all of you be my yeah. friends um it helps that i am i was probably born the same year that most of the lecturers were born as well so that kind of helps um or later earlier sorry um but like they like they know that i've got little kids so um, i've had lecturers just when i'm stressed and they haven't heard from me they'll just call me or send me an email just check in and i think mm. that's really nice because you you're on their mind as well they're like oh how's they're always thinking how's this student coping how's this? even first years like we're all like oh that that like they're gonna do really well and they're gonna open up and like, everyone's nervous and oh yeah like yesterday everyone was very like yeah it, like it felt awkward but like i think that's normal and that's fine there's nothing wrong oh, with that yeah gotta start yeah. somewhere and then by the time you get to fifth year fourth year fifth year oh years like you like you cry with these people and i've never cried in architecture really yeah i feel like it's a, it's it's like for me it's like a thing it's like okay yeah, no, it's like a week at week like ten, at week nine that's when <laughs> that's when the crying happens and then my support team go all right get up get it done yep. and you're like okay, so yeah. good times okay to cry in this it's degree, okay to cry but you don't need to you don't have to anyway so but we'll get onto the oh we can oh that's a segue into mental health ah i would say as an advocate we all are advocates um as a when you first start, just just think about what makes you happy. Like, what's mm. your what's your thing that's not like have a thing that's not architecture. God, yes. Have a th- have a thing that's not. I remember. Or work. So not architecture, not work. Just something, something that's that if you yeah. won the lotto and you could do it full time forever, what that thing would be, and spend time finding time to do it, and reward yourself. Mm. So and and not and not don't reward yourself for doing an assignment because well, well you do but reward yourself for getting up and, and eating a healthy breakfast mm. like oh it's like I did that today so yeah make sure I you have some do. form of like hobby like for me it's just like playing card games a lot that's how I like relax I make sure I do something that's completely unrelated to architecture because if I'm just thinking about architecture and constantly designing I feel very burnt out like I did this in third year where I kind of like removed my hobbies and then I felt very stressed out tired all the time. Yes. So, yeah, just make sure you take care of yourself and make sure you indulge in things that you do enjoy because you're a human, you deserve to be, like, happy, right? Yeah, and, and apparently, not because I've looked it up, um, it's a time management technique as well. So if you, uh, if you, if you get overwhelmed, um, like I do sometimes, and, and you don't know where to start, you, you break up what you need to do in time blocks, and after maybe 30 minutes of work, you get to do five minutes of what you love. So for me, it's drawing. Mm. So I'll go, and then in those increments, you've got a beautiful drawing at the end, and you've actually gotten more work done than if you were procrastinating and, and everything like that. So anyway, there's more to look at. Maybe mm. there's a thing that'll come up about 
student mental health services or something. Oh, yeah. no, I have to do more editing. Why are you making me do this? <laughs> I'm like, which? Yeah, yeah. Um, that doesn't segue onto anything else. Okay. Sketchbooks. Oh, I could sketch. Yeah, so we'll talk about like more of the first year stuff. So yesterday we went along to the first year studio. We got there at like 8 a.m. You got there at like 7.30, didn't you? I got in for coffee. Yeah, Seven, I, yeah. I just made my coffee here. But yeah, so we went along to the 8 a.m. lecture. And we just want to touch on a couple of things. So sketchbooks. So make sure you have one. Ideally get one. Okay, after like. No, I right. was going on about get a black one or I'm like, it does color. Yeah. Does so yeah, like, try and get one like that's like A5. Cause it's nice in your hands, easy to travel around with because while A4 for now might feel kind of, um, it might feel very normal, especially like for those who've just freshly come up high school. It's very awkward to travel around with and Within this degree, you'll be doing quite a few site visits, so it's nice to have something you just easily like carry around, leave in your bag, or also just like use like one hand, and also making sure you have like pens. Like for me, right now I'm using like a red pen, which is like might seem kind of weird, but like I prefer like drawing like in a different color. Like it used to be blue because like I used to like animation a lot, and I love seeing the storyboards they did in blue, so I like to sketch in that color. But right now I just like using red because it's nice, it's bright, it catches my attention. It, I, yeah, it doesn't matter as long as as. It, if it's something that makes you draw more, or sketch, or write an yeah. idea down, right. Yeah, so on also going to that, that sketching, I really don't like sketching in pencil. So for me, um, when I'm doing my sketches, especially for studio, I don't want to be able to erase them, because a lot of the studio will come down to your process work. They want to see how you got from A all the way to Z. They don't want to, they want to see B, C, D, all the stuff in between because that process work is really important. It shows like your development as a student. And it's always like, you never know, like it could be like three weeks later, you suddenly come back to a sketch, you go, that's it. That's what I need to do. And you'll just like learn a lot from that. And you'll even have, you'll have your favorite medium as well. So you might, you might just sketch and then love a drawing that you've done or a diagram. You're like, okay, let's work on that mm. and throw in your style. But um, you're not expected to have a drawing style yeah or unless you want to like um like we've got some students that have used the same colors through their whole mm. well, at least for masters for the last two years yeah but you'll find um, like you'll change a lot depending on like what sort of like project you're working on what sort of themes you want to explore because for example if you're doing ones more maybe related to like mental health as like with people like feeling not okay you might use more like blues and darker tones whereas if you want to do more like healing you might go for more like earthy yellow Greens, red tones yeah, yeah just for that whole healing aspect so like don't like you don't need to lock yourself to like a certain like style it's fine to be adaptable it's fine to just be like one if you want just do whatever you think is right because the cool thing about architecture is there's no defined correct answer no. it's all open to your interpretation and it's yeah. always like the spontaneous the spontaneous mm. stuff that they're the seeds of mm greatness yeah. rather than um not copying an idea but you know yeah, yeah um, it's still going back to that lecture yesterday another thing they brought up was t-squares if you were there you would have seen the whole like debate about like t-squares what people think of them we i have, have a t-square yeah i don't think we do but that's a, a that's a good example <laughs> of like you do not need one so i remember when i had a t-square in <laughs> first year I think it was like week one, I brought to uni, it was in my bag and I, I, it just snapped. So if you bring one, do not put it in your bag, ideally carry it around or use a little tote bag, that's another good idea. Because those things are very fragile, especially the office works plastic ones you'll probably end up getting. But if you do and you have a locker, then you've got a spot for it. Is it gonna be a, is the locker gonna be big, big enough? This seems like... It depends if you get a little one. Or yeah. you can always um, <laughs> leave it in here. Yeah, we used to leave a couple in here, but I don't know where they've gone, so leave at your own risk I if you want. there's one in the cupboard. Probably. There might actually be one in here. Yeah. And again, uh, uh, yeah, this is your space to come in and draw. And yeah, please, like, decorate it as you want. We've got some lovely it. little plants that were brought in by Michelle, and they really, like, brighten up the area. So please, make the space your own. Just do whatever you want Pin with up it. your drawing. As long as you don't destroy it, we're fine with that. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, We've got things, here. yeah, I'm um, to say books. We've got yeah. books here. Feel yes. free to bring in books. Yeah, a lot of them were donated by past students or from our, because a lot of the ones in our old library we do not have access to. And yeah, we sort of just like have been adding to it a lot. There's a lot, one of my favorite ones, which I showed like a lot of students who were having trouble with their graphic style was Archie graphics. 
because a lot of them would like write ideas and they just like put it on the page and it wouldn't really like translate visually because when I'm presenting something, if I just give you a big line text, it's not very exciting, it's pretty boring and it's easier to convey things with images because reading is annoying. So Archigraphics was one of my favorite books for learning how to like better make like better show like infographic information. Uh, can you close it properly? Sorry. Um, <laughs> To, We're live in the room. Yep, to <laughs> show information and just like convey it in a different way as well as giving students inspirations for different like color tones they can mess around with. Do you have any book recommendations you'd like to talk about? I would Sorry. say... <laughs> You're good, don't worry. <laughs> uh, I would say start start your book collection. Um, start your book, start your real physical book collection because you keep them like forever. Like oh, they'll probably... Oh, mine are on that shelf right now. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm too scared to bring mine in. Cause, but um, we are going to, in our newsletter, we're going to have a um, book review each time. I'm, I'm doing that. Okay, good. I, 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 I hate reading. This <laughs> is hurting my brain right now. <laughs> uh, things that will, books that will help. Uh, but I always went, before I start an assignment, like when I get my assignment brief, I um, get my butt over to Boffins in the city oh. and I pick one book for that is relevant to the assignment and one book for me uh, like one architecture book for me and one architecture book for the assignment um we can do that on amazon yeah boffins is a scary store i spend too much money there boffin, boff, if you okay if you, if you don't know boffins as an <laughs> as a first year it is um it's in city on I don't know what street that is. Is it Barrack? It's no, where. That's not Barrack. It's um the one opposite of it. So it's in between um. It's, bro, it's where know. Hungry Jacks and KFC is. Yeah, it's on that street near the Office Works and the little opposite church. The and church. when you walk yeah. out from the bus port, if you head towards the Hay Street, it's it's over there. And it's downstairs, but there is an elevator if yeah. you can't um, get yeah, there's down the such stairs. a big range of books, and it smells like a bookstore, which I really like. Um, but yeah, I would recommend. Just starting or, or looking for secondhand ones. I think there are some readings that we have to get. Yeah. And even though, um, even though Pete, like online, it's it's easy because of the um, because of the library, everything's yes. scanned in. It's like you can find a lot of books on there, and if there's books you can't access through the library, there's usually other ways to find them. But yeah, I know for me, like I'm. I have issues reading on a computer just because, like, yeah, I, I like being able to, like, go through the pages. I like being able to, like, draw and stuff. So a really easy way I can that really helps me with reading is use, literally using an iPad. That way I can, like, scribble on things. I can easily just, like, add little notes, and that really helps with me, like, mm. with my note-taking and reading. That's been a huge help for the last, like, few, like, months while I've started, like, prepping for pieces. I, um, I have the natural voice reader text to voice oh that's a good idea so um because i have trouble reading on screen yeah, and yeah. concentrating um <laughs> in general mm. uh like a lot of the population um i will um have the natural reader read it to me while i read it and i know that sounds silly but that's what seems to work mm. kind of get that double double in but um but it has to be a good natural reader. Some of them just sound like uh, like yeah. Stephen Hawking's voice, which is iconic, but not yeah, really flowing. too great. So um, that's, just, that's just what yeah, I no, do. For me, I, I can't do that because then it feels like I'm listening to a podcast. And for me, a podcast, it kind of just like the background noise while I do my work. Except for this one, this podcast. Oh, yeah, we've got the little video. You can <laughs> see us being real. I don't know. <laughs> Our honest. Yeah. We're not sitting here just going... Uh, so does that segue on to laptops? Oh, like or recommendations or? Oh, I just, I just like could talk laptops. About, we could talk about like tech and stuff. There was on orientation day, Chris um, said don't get a architecture laptop, get a gaming laptop. Yes. God, so the laptop I'm using right now is a... Uh, one of the MSI gaming ones and that one has been really useful yeah like, it has like enough RAM to do what I want and the graphics card performs at a good level where I can perform nice quality renders so that's like an important thing to figure out and a good thing about the gaming laptops is say like you need to upgrade it for more RAM or you want to change something 
a lot of them are very, are very easy to take apart and modify it as you need. Can you don't. Pardon? Can we change the graphic card as well? You can. It's just very. Oh. It's it's kind of awkward. Okay. And it could go wrong. I, right. I haven't changed mine, but I know you can. I've seen students who have done this. So. But, um, yeah. Do as you want. Yeah. Or you or you could do all your renders at home or even the labs here yes, are the computer epic. labs here are amazing i know many friends who kind of just are fiends and live in the computer labs 24 7 yeah andre if you're watching this <laughs> uh, i was staring at kaylee okay oh, staring at kaylee yeah people that live oh yes kaylee kaylee has a, a rented space in the labs towards the end of semester <laughs> yeah yeah Indeed. so claim your spot because the thesis students will jump in and, um, yeah, kind of go, hey. Yeah. <laughs> I remember end of last semester, there was one student who just brought in like a, he just brought in like a, more of an instant coffee, like one, like those little like containers. And he was just like, he left it on the desk to mark his spot and he just had, he just stayed there for like, it was, it was a few days. No, I, uh, <laughs> just, I, just eating out of the instant coffee. No, it, it just made, his break from Aki would be like getting up to make the coffee. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, please um, <laughs> like try and get onto your assignments early. Don't leave it too that's last fine, minute. And try fine. to try to make sure you do sleep because that's a big part of like your mental well being. Because for me, I cannot function if I don't sleep properly. Like one of my, I think one of the past students, one of my favorite things he said was um, office hours. Like do your nine to five, and then you have to do a little bit overtime all of it at home that's fine but like make sure you get your proper sleep or else you'll not be doing okay yeah yeah i agree with sleep sleep and eat well hmm. and go outside like that, that's optional no <laughs> you can't spend all day in the labs there is a window i mean i can and then i go outside at night yeah, and I do. <laughs> everyone in here is like yeah we do spend all time in the lab. but um we learn, we study about biophilia and, our con and, and how we need to connect people that are in buildings to nature. <laughs> Look at our little fake plant. Yet we spend the whole time in the computer labs without looking at anything green. Um, and the only images of plants that we see or nature is when we are putting it into our precedent studies. Like, <laughs> I'm like, Go outside because we know we, we if you haven't learnt it you will learn it because it's it's pretty much straight in there with um yeah. with with knowing the connection to nature uh, and touching like go outside take your shoes off and just stand on the grass maybe maybe i should That's just change my like wallpaper to just grass well uh, they say that um pictures of nature are almost just as good okay so you don't need to go outside as all well, i'm hearing <laughs> get some but yeah if you if you are inside and you do you want to touch some grass? We do have a little piece that's been pinned up to the cars of, into the room, into one of the walls in the cars room. So that is consult room 435. That's like the cars room. Anyone is able to use it. It's mostly where we also keep, we store some of our things. And I if you just- You can see it, you can see it. Yeah, I'll it's like, it's literally there. just behind us. Come There's in, a little like cars logo over there. Um, come in anytime. We're gonna put, a, we're gonna get a sign made up when we're in meetings, it'll say meetings. But other than that, Come in, knock on the door, come in, or the door's open, mm. come in. Um, yeah, eat well. Eat well and bring. feel free to bring your lunch because it's yes. ex it gets expensive. Yeah, God, I was eating like breakfast expensive. during the lecture yesterday. So um, you can't bring any like thing that's very like aromatic into a lecture, but like for me, I just brought in some overnight oats. That was something I could just eat in the lecture and it was fine. Didn't really like bother anyone. That was yeah. good. That's good. Yep. You see videos online of people just like with a fry pan making pancakes and stuff. God. It's wild. I'm like, yeah, no, don't do that in here. Don't do that in here. Uh, we will lose the space if you do that because properties will be mad. And we don't have a microwave or a fridge. Yeah, so if you want to use a microwave, you can go across the road to the IGA and you can use the one in there. You don't, don't, you don't, buy, don't have to buy anything. If they try to guilt trip you, just walk away. Oh, and then that I'm going to segue into something that's written here. But on level <coughs> one near the printers, there's a little kitchenette with um, mm. boiling hot water and cold filtered yep. water. So and it's also there's also a little kitchen on level three. three yeah, yeah. So um, you probably, if you've seen them, 
they don't they belong to everyone so even though there's an office on level three like a corporate office oh yeah it's not theirs God. it's it's all of us yeah. and we just leave it tidy and yeah, clean no, but level three one's interesting so i so i bought this little coffee machine i brought into you need to use like a little espresso machine it's got me through most of my undergrad and the first year of my masters so um one thing i i remember at some point it just went missing i was really confused then i think like a month or so later, one of the staff just found it in level three in the kitchenette, plugged in. It was really weird. But like, yeah, that's just a weird story. Um, please don't steal my coffee machine. I'll be very sad. Oh, speaking of power, would you recommend um, get a locker and then put an extension cord or a power board or both in there? Because when you get your gaming laptop and you start um, multitasking, so you're in a shoot or a lecture and you've got an assignment due in two weeks, mm. you'll have um, your CAD program, your preferred CAD program up, as well as a render, as well as a 3D program, as well as um, Microsoft Word, so because you're taking notes, and then like your socials, because we need each other. And also and that, YouTube music. And you, yeah, however it will be, and that will, all be running on your little um, hot plate of a laptop. That seems to be allowed instead of... <laughs> yeah. Um, and your battery will just go... Uh, every single... If you get there late, everyone would have already plugged their um, laptops into PowerPoints. And they'd take the seats near the walls. And take the seats near the walls. An issue with this building is like a lot of the studios, the PowerPoints are sort of in the middle of the class and if you're on the edge, it's kind of annoying to reach because there's not as many like... Um, powerpoints in the floors anymore so you could like be a total bro and come with like an eight one if you've got remember, one and then yeah. just everyone's john just like, uh, marino he used to do that in here just bring a whole like pa like power power, board. power yeah power board yeah. power board and then and then a long extension cord yeah, that you can sit in the middle of the class if there's no seats around the edges mm. and you can charge yeah so. so alternatively if you do forget one and you'd like to use one you are able to borrow one from the makerspace if you go ask more of the technicians. Oh, did that one? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have a lot of good stuff here, there. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, Can we think of anything else? Oh, let's talk about yeah. our first, first couple of days back. God, so yeah, uh, are you like yesterday was the second day? I fell asleep in class. Did you? Yeah, and I was um, the prof rec one, because like after doing two, one is very straightforward. I was just like kind of zoned out, because I went, oh, I don't need any more coffee. I should have had more coffee. Ah, oh, that's what I wanted to talk about quickly. Um, file organization, the habit of organizing your oh. files on your computer and putting them somewhere where you can find them because that is a life, a lifetime skill that oh, will yes. come in handy. So, although, <laughs> And some of us haven't worked on that. Yeah, although we may have a documents folder, my documents folder is just called my downloads at this point. And Every my downloads folders, my documents folders. Exactly. Like everything like sort of just ends it's up there as you're like, for me, as I switch between like two different computers, I usually like upload and download stuff from a drive as I go about. So. And it's just, yeah. I think our brains, your brain, our brain, everyone's brains collectively, individually are going to have a lot, like you're going to have every unit and what to do is in your head and and science says that the brain can only process like 120 something megabytes or 160 megabytes at a time which is two conversations so you can have two conversations and if something I else happens something's going to go missing yeah <laughs> that's standard average yeah. um so having additional noise on your desktop is probably not going to help and then when you're trying to find that drawing that you did and you scanned in and you're like, oh, that would be perfect. Where is it? Search the file name, but you've just named it <laughs> one, 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 yeah. because you yeah, have very time. Final copy, final, final copy, copy, final, 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 copy. final, 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 finalist copy, <laughs> done like, copy. Yes. Like you'll come up with many names as you go. That's where most of your creativity oh will be. But yeah, um, I know for me, like with my file organization, I, I turn off all my desktop icons, so I have the illusion that it's actually tidy. Because if I turn them on, I will be stressed out. Can you turn them off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know you could do that. Maybe I shouldn't. Either. Yeah, yeah, that's probably why I procrastinate, because I forget uh, about my problems. Yeah, because I... <laughs> 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 that's why you see him smiling. 
forgetting about his problems. Yeah. Gosh. Anyway, yeah. that's on that's to, onto our problems. Um, so yeah. So one. we finally got our, our first class. I mean, the only class we use thesis, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm so totally after I don't know, like the last the three month break, we've all been eagerly awaiting our advisors. Thesis. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty happy with mine. It's mostly who I expected, but. A little bit sad because during the break they saw me just like working on my project. Was she just walking down there with my supervisor before? Or who do you have? Uh, I'll tell you after. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I don't know if it's a confident. Yeah. yeah, no, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. So they saw me like working on my stuff. Going, oh, how's your project? What's going on? Did you do this? Did you do that? And I just didn't. I just didn't realize that they were like. This is very subtle hints of of my advisor, which is cool. But may, so maybe if I asked them, they would have sent me for readings. Oh, now I know. Break, now instead, I know. Yeah, instead <laughs> like um, on Monday night, so I'm about halfway through. Got to get finish them by tomorrow for my meeting. So hopefully that goes well. But yeah, no, I'm, today. I'm excited for my topic. How about you? Uh, look, uh, both our supervisors were just just yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah. Just I'm like, oh look, it's look. yeah, yeah. Um, I I I just had I just had a big vent to Kaylee, <laughs> so I'm pretty good. Kaylee, who's working on her thesis right now. Um, I'm doing what I always do and I'm squirreling away articles I'm like that one and that one and that one. Are you reading them? Uh, yeah. The abstract I am <laughs> <laughs> to make sure they're appropriate. So meeting my supervisor today is going to be great because they will hopefully just pull me back in and go give me some do this. Or, yeah, yeah, just just that that yeah, little so thing. So, what is your research question? What is your idea that you want to? My explore? idea, I would love to, and and this isn't final because I know it's going to change because there's nothing on <laughs> oh it. Oh God, yes, this there's is the final final. It. The final final dot yeah. final final. Um, <laughs> I am wanting to look at how healing spaces in the built environment. Haven't decided what kind of typology or whatever yet, but um, how they can um help rebuild neuron connections in children that have been broken due to extreme trauma. So when a child is displaced out of an environment, maybe their parents have been incarcerated or passed away or just should not be around um, their carers, then when they get displaced, like what are these environments that they're going into? Because how do you, how do you stop um, people that have suffered from trauma mm. re how how to stop re-traumatizing or re-triggering it with the built environment so things such as blind corners and sound all very sensory but mm. um oh. yeah that that's a cool topic because <laughs> i know like for my readings there's been because mine's really the focus on place identity and the whole part about your your place constantly changing and not ever feeling settled or attached to a space has a really big impact on a child's development. Yeah. So it's like really like cool like hearing that from you. So well, because you kind of dealing your topics kind of dealing yeah. with what happens when you don't. So after heal. the children, yes. So um, initially, my topic was going to be re related to the idea of a crisis of loneliness that's been caused within modern cities due to a lack of place identity within youth. I was going to look at Singapore because I used to lived there for when I was working for three months on an internship but uh, I felt very unsatisfied with it because it felt like a Disneyland everything's like really pretty it's exciting but when you spend a like a few weeks there it all feels very artificial planned out and it wasn't much Was so I felt very yeah Singapore I yeah. felt very detached but yeah so initially I was going to do that I realized eh I don't really like Singapore so instead I'm like looking more like a, a town that's Okay, no, a city that's more um, close to my heart, which is Bunbury, since my mother's side's from there. And looking more like Bunbury feels really interesting because a lot of people, like especially youth, move from Bunbury to like Perth or like a different city to pursue education or work. And a lot of them who move there don't end up coming back because they form like a place identity within that new city. They've, they see the idealized life they want because they have the ability to change their place. However, there's a group of people that can't necessarily do that due to a variety of different reasons. There's a, a lot of them like succumb to a different, require different means of escapism from the everyday as they don't feel satisfied with their place. And that usually comes in a form of substance addiction with Bunbury being the cap, 
labeled the meth capital of WA. So there's a lot to unpack there. It might be a bit too broad for now, but hopefully I can start like refining my question and narrowing my focus on what would be better for my thesis topic. We should do a recap in like six months. Six months. When we've just when we when we've narrowed it down and just just be like, what's your topic? And we'll look a lot more tired. Let's see. Or we could do like <laughs> we could be a thing like every episode maybe briefly talk about and you can track our progress as, as we develop because I think that, that could be cool to see for like students who are going to have, still have to start their thesis seeing how like people's like change and develop and how ideas progress yeah that would be good yeah. and if you are a thesis student wherever you are we have a, a broad listen listenership fellowship fellowship Fellowships like yeah. a movie. That if, you are, if you're doing a thesis topic, you are, comment, you doing comment, it, comment, it down. comment down below or if you w- would like to do a thesis, what would it be? Please engage with this. We want to we want to get more um, exposure and boost us on the algorithm. Yeah, or if you are someone that wants to be interviewed for one of these topics, let us know and we'll get an ethical clearance. If <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> you have a child that's suffered for oh no. No more ethical ethics is pain. Do you need people? I know someone that's Live, grew up in Bunbury, and I, now I, he's I, never I, gone back. I know many people. Yeah, like of course. That. I figured you would if it's from. Yeah. If it's that's it. But yeah, um, yeah these are great. Yeah, it should be fun. Um, is there anything else you want to touch on, or should we wrap up there? Just because it's been about thirty uh, minutes. Spons- oh no, I wanted to touch quickly on um, sponsors. What 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 are we are going to do? What we hope right. to do with. Wait, what am I doing? Right. Do you want to be on this couch <laughs> getting asked the questions? Is that what you want, Rob? Yeah, okay. you can if you want. Um, so That's part of one, if you are a business or if, like, with a product that you want us future architects and interior architects and who else do we outreach to? Construction managers? Mm. Yeah. And planners. Planners and fashion we're just everyone in here um if you Mm. want to get in our heads for when we get into practice um send us an email email will be down there and uh we or if you're if you are in a firm if you're an architect in a firm that um isn't affiliated with curtain at the moment or wants to be more um, affiliated with a student base rather than um the whole of the the DBE then um, we'd love to have you sitting here or wherever you want to be mm. in your office in your firm um, and maybe you maybe you were once part of Castle maybe you were once not in these walls but in the in 201 in the big brutalist <coughs> building and you just want to come and chat and reminisce about your time as a student and and everything yeah because like just let us know because um, a lot of our topics like from today were last minute just planned on the spot and we sort of just run with them so if you have something you'd like to talk about and you have like an idea we're happy to like adapt to that and like make uh, an episode about that so yeah if you'd like to be involved with this please um, reach out to us and and we'll send you our sponsorship ship paperwork uh, also with the sponsorship with our product sponsors people from industries that that we use to to build Mm. um buildings um we're looking at we're getting a sample library downstairs Mm. so So that should be really cool so uh for students this is going to be great because there's going to be um actual like real samples that you can touch you can you have contact of if you want a bigger piece maybe you're doing an assignment and and you want to just see how or if you want to ask how it connects to this kind of um facade like maybe mm. you want to put a, a, a building facade and you're like oh well is that a mechanical fix or a direct stick for example well, i might be talking too much into <laughs> it already uh, and they might say it's a mechanical fix and we can get the documentation that you can kind of copy and into utilize. your drawings and then you can kind of keep that on file so, yeah, so use it over and over and over again um use, and then when you get into practice you're like well i know how to i know mm. how to draw um this kind of paneling detail, onto yeah. this detail on oh actually I, I did it years ago let me just pull that up and yeah then, yeah like, it's nice being able to like have a resource that you can like 
look at and physically like reference because I know like a lot of units you'll be scrambling online trying to find like a good one to use and having like products that are tested and are also like local to like WA and Perth would be like really nice. I yeah, think. yeah, I think because um, we're always trying to reduce our carbon footprint and if we don't need to move it around the world so much. Uh, taxes on Friday. <laughs> okay and then what else is in sponsorships uh we've got our magazine coming out which is exciting we're doing a million events maybe not many but we're doing a lot more educational things this year so um without promising too much there's going to be a lot of um learning from that first years can take a, any any you can take advantage of like i'm going to jump into them as well because it's good to have a refresher it's good to remember um, especially after having, how many months off have we had? Three. three. Yeah, three sounds three right. Months off. And yeah. um, well, I I use a lot for work, but um, if you don't, you just just need that refresher. Um, that'd be great. We've teamed up with a whole lot of clubs this year, so um, you know we're we're working with the civil engineers because we will eventually have to work with them in the future. We. Uh, working with the Illustrators Club, so um, robotics and mechatronics and gaming as well. So all these, we've got a big group of ideas just coming in together. We're all helping each other out um, with education and fun stuff. So, um, you know, come along to some things, make some friends with the engineers, and then when you have to put with them for assignments later down the track you're like got my yep. group or you can just message them and like how can my building can my building that i've designed be built oh yeah no i've done that a lot <laughs> and they'll say especially no. last year <laughs> yeah and no, i did i definitely did that a lot let's stand up no but yeah i think we'll wrap it up there now it's yeah. like 40 plus minutes that's we we'll edit a whole bunch of life. yeah yeah no, that's fine so yeah uh, thank you for watching uh hopefully we'll have this like maybe like a regular thing like ideally a regular thing with episodes recorded every like a consistent rate no no yeah let's do it regular. Yeah, and every two weeks oh that's so much editing for me <laughs> oh sorry uh, we'll, we'll, we'll no defined schedule yet but we'll figure out as we go but yeah thank you for watching i'm harrison and michelle and we've been your hosts for today um have a good night because you're probably up at 1am watching this have a good first week and that is the end of the first episode for 2024. Thank you everyone for listening and making it to the end. It's cool that we've been able to keep this going and hopefully we're going to have more guests coming on as well. It won't just be the cast members, but hopefully more members of industry and staff. So if there's anyone you'd like to see us get on the show, please comment down below, contact us on our socials and let us know what you want to see. I've been Harrison and thank you for watching.